Hey, this is Jason Long with JH Media Group, and today we're going to be talking about tool versus platform in SaaS development. We recently did a video about how much it costs to build a SaaS system, and in that video, this aspect was covered, but people asked about it. So we wanted to pull it out of that video and just do its own video, a video on just this item. So, this is something you really need to know when you're first building a SaaS system. If you haven't done this before, I really, really, really recommend building a tool first. Let's talk about that. So, a tool is something that does pretty much one thing that's fairly simple and it's used somewhat infrequently. It could be used every day, but most people are going to use it like not every minute of their day. Whereas a platform is something that's fully featured and people work in that tool, meaning they use that tool for work all the time. All right, this by the way also falls on a spectrum. So very often things will start as tools and then move over to become platforms. So it's not, uh, it's not just a one thing or, or you know, it's either this or that, but, and there is a, there is a spectrum but it really very often falls into one thing or the other when you're first getting started. Some examples of tools are things like Buffer that help you just post social media and allow uh, and analyze how that's looking. Something like Lucky Orange or Hotjar that enables you to see what's going on on your website as far as how users are using the system. Calendly that enables other people to make appointments on your calendar or something like Harvest that enables you to track time, you and or contractors, to track time and bill against that time and then track and put, um, see reports on that time. Whereas a platform is gonna be something like Jira, which is a project management tool for developers, Asana, which is a general project management tool, Facebook, which is not really a SaaS system, but you can kinda of say it is, and it's kind of, it was kinda of built initially kind of in the same process, uh, and Slack. And so, as you can see, these are tools that are used all the time. Very often, someone will work in one of these tools all day long. That's their entire day is that one tool. So, with tools versus platforms, if you're selling a tool that just does one thing and does it better than most other people out there, it's an easier sell. Whereas if you're selling a platform, you have to convince somebody to, to move from whatever they're currently doing or from nothing and use your tool, your platform all the time. They have to be comfortable working in your platform. That means you have to add a lot of optimization. You have to really do a lot of work on the platform to get people comfortable with using it all the time. Some, let's see where we're at, all right. So if this is your first time building a SaaS tool, build a tool, or if you're building a SaaS, build a tool. It's really, really a lot easier. Some cost and time examples. We're currently building a reputation management tool called MedRev that is sold to healthcare professionals. This is one of our companies. I'm gonna use that versus Brainleaf, which is also one of our companies. And Brainleaf is a, is a platform, MedRev is a tool. MedRev sends out text messages and asks for surveys and gets um, reviews on Facebook and Google. Brainleaf is a gigantic tool that enables you to build scope of work documents, send them for approvals, get contracts done, all sorts of things. Big, big difference in these two different systems. So MedRev took us about six weeks to build the MVP. The cost of the MVP what a minimum the MVP is minimum viable product. Um, the cost of the MVP was about eight thousand dollars. It took eight weeks to get out of alpha. So we built the MVP. We're like, this is the thing, and we got a couple more weeks to kind of like work on that and get out of the alpha test. Um, some with some systems like MVP is out out of alpha. In this particular case, the way it was moving, it was just in alpha, and then MVP was going to be like uh, a little bit afterwards. It took us 10 to 12 weeks to get out of beta, and we have a total cost on the system at about $14,000. So 14K and we're ready to sell, we're, re we're good to go. 
Uh, and then this is also really a much easier sale because we have a very targeted market. It does one thing for them and it does it really, really well. Brainleaf, on the other hand, took us two years to build. We had 45K to get out of MVP. We had three years to get out of alpha. And we had four years to get out of beta, total four years to get out of beta, including the three years in alpha. Um, and a total cost over several years, I don't even, I'm looking at my notes, I don't even know the total cost, probably about 150,000 to get up to the point where we were really selling the system and moving along with it. We're probably at $250,000 into that system right now, but that's also with revenue coming in off the system. So that's a huge difference. It's a huge, huge difference and something you really need to take into consideration when you're building a SaaS system. So once again, this was all covered in the other video, which you'll see a link for somewhere on the screen in just a minute. And also check out our new book on brainleaf.com on how to learn scoping. If you go to brainleaf.com and click on the learn scoping link, you'll see that book and it'll take you through a lot of what you need to know to plan the build of one of these systems. So finally, this is Jason Long. Thank you so much. If you need any help with this in the future, please reach out to us at JH Media Group. Have a great day.